Jesus says that you can pray in his name and he will answer your prayers. He does not say that the Father will answer your prayers, but rather that the Father will be glorified by Jesus himself answering the prayers of the believers. This, even in Islam, is a divine title. Therefore, by Jesus saying that he answers prayers, according to both Christianity and Islam, Jesus is God. Point two is that Jesus claims for himself in Revelation, I believe it's chapter 21, verse 13, might be 22, verse 13, that he is the uh, Alpha and the Omega, he is the first and the last. Now we know from the Old Testament that those are divine titles reserved only for Yahweh, and yet we notice that Jesus himself is taking on these divine titles. Why is Jesus taking on these divine titles? Because he is God. Again, we look in the beginning of uh, John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, um, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God. And the, sorry. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. This is clearly a divine title because we see again in John 1, verse 18, that that, uh, 40, sorry, that Word becomes in flesh in the person of Jesus Christ. Therefore, we know that that Word, at the very beginning, before creation, that was with God, is later becoming flesh in the form of Jesus Christ. Therefore, Jesus Christ is God. In every way, the diversity of the people. I think that's it. I'm going to start with that. Okay, I'll give you a little bit of 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 of Jesus being God incarnate. Now, when I say you're only I'm going to, first of all, before I go into the Bible, to let the viewers know what Islam is all about. You see, Islam simply means submitting, submitting one's will to Almighty God. We the Muslims, we worship the Creator and not the creation. Islam is a monotheistic religion. We believe in all the prophets, every single prophet that came before the last of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was sent to their people at a particular time period. But Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him, is the last and final messenger sent to the whole of mankind. And the Quran is the last and final testament. We believe in Jesus. We respect him, we re revere him, but as a Messiah, no God incarnate. And we are telling our Christian brethren that there is not a single verse in the Bible why Jesus himself said he is God, why he says, worship me. Yeah, but instead the Bible is repeated verses why Jesus is making a distinction between him and Almighty God. So I wonder why Christians don't go to those verses. And we've got the Old Testament. The Old Testament is repeated verses why Almighty God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of all the prophets said he's the only one Lord. It's baffling. They will go to John, 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 only John. Because John, the last gospel. Now we got to go to the Quran. The Quran, you, it, it's mentioned the Quran in Surah and Nisa, chapter number four, verse number 171. It says that all people know the scripture, all Jews, Jews and the Christians, do not go to extremes in religion, religion and do not speak last against Allah, but speak the truth. The, Esa, the Messiah, Isa, Jesus. The son of Maryam, the son of Mary, was no more than the messenger of Allah. And his word, which is the son of Maryam, and the spirit created by him. So believe in Allah and his messengers. Don't say three things. In the This is even better for you. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one Lord. You see, it's not even three minutes. Go, 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 go. I well, said, is it three or two? Three minutes, we said. Ah, you are stopping him. Three, three. Oh, three. Oh, three. We said three. Oh, I will oh, finish oh, the stopping. Oh, so when he got the Bible, oh, they said Jesus is God. Now let, look at these verses. John 14, 20, Jesus said, my father is greater than I. It's still shot. If Jesus said, almighty God is greater than him, how can Jesus be God? You read the Bible, John 5, 30, Jesus said, I can of myself do nothing. Clear. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just because I seek not of my own will, but the will of him who sent me, a Muslim. In the Bible, in the Gospel of John, John, John 8, 40, Jesus said to his enemies, but now you seek to kill me. A man, a man who has told you the truth, which I heard from God. Who was he talking to? Furthermore, in your Bible, this guy, I, 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 go, I don't trust you, go, go, go. 
Okay, so notice how my, so my opponent here did not actually address any of the verses I brought up. I brought up John 14, verse 13 to 14, where Jesus says that you can pray to him directly and that will glorify the Father. That is a clear claim of divinity according to both uh, Christianity and Islam, because that would be shirk in Islam. Now, he hasn't addressed that point because he doesn't have a point to it, he doesn't have an argument against it. If he does, he'll bring it up when he next speaks. And I'll then bring, he danced up. around the I'll, issue I'll and brought up other things without actually addressing what I said. That is a sign of someone who can't actually argue, but rather has to go outside of what I mentioned to bring in other verses that try and support his claim, but will, when explained will fail. For example, he says that Jesus says that he is a man. Well, of course Jesus is a man. We affirm that Jesus is a man. He's the father he is what about the father God, him? He is both fullness of humanity. The father given to him. It's my time. It's my time. Jesus is both the fullness of humanity and the fullness of divinity. This is clear in our church teaching as well in scripture. So, we also know, for example, that John 20, verse 28, Thomas calls Jesus Christ, my Lord and my God. In fact, in the Greek, it is clear that he says directly to him, he doesn't say it to anyone else, he doesn't turn and look above, he says to Jesus, the Lord of me and the God of me. And Jesus says, now you believe. So Jesus affirms, sorry, uh, yeah, Jesus affirms what Thomas says, that Christ is appropriately addressed as my Lord and my God. Now he brought up uh, John chapter five, I believe it was verse 30, that says that I could do uh, nothing um, outside of the will of the Father. Now, we of course affirm this because we believe that not that the Father and Jesus are the same person, but rather that Jesus is not acting in separation from the Father. They are acting in complete union with one another. This is clear and this is a, a, a very easy to understand verse. However, he tries to uh, misuse it for his own purposes. Uh, what else did he say? He didn't address John 1, he completely bypassed that. Uh, what other verse? Oh, he brought up John 14, verse 28, where he says that, um, that the Father is greater than I. Of course we affirm this. Why do we affirm okay. this? Aqui. Because Jesus himself was a man on earth and therefore he was limited by his own humanity, whereas the Father is spirit and is not limited by humanity. That makes complete sense. Hence I have answered your verses that you have brought up. If I've missed one, tell me and I'll address that one as well. Now I would like you to address my verses and I hand over my time to you. It is now. Look. But we are telling you, there is not a single verse why Jesus was on the earth, he told the disciples, he never said he is God, he never worshiped me. Why did you tell them I'm God incarnate? John 1.1. 1, 1. Did, did, did Jesus say that he was God incarnate? This is John 1.1. 1, 1. Who is John? Tell me who is John. He said, I, I will address his uh, verse, uh, what is his issue. The verse is quoted. Let's go to John 1.1. 1, 1. John 1.1 1, 1 is the, one of the most popular verses. John 1.1. 1, 1. Every Christian is in their lips. Every Christian. John 1.1. 1, 1. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God, and the word was God. And we are telling them, in the beginning, who was with God in the beginning? The word. No, God. No answer. Listen, to, listen, to, listen to me. John 1 said, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God, and the word was with God. And the word was God. This word, who was with God? Who is the word? That is the word? The word was with God. The Logos is Jesus Christ. Jesus. So it's Jesus Christ was with God. If Jesus Christ was with God, was Jesus God in the beginning? Yes, if Jesus Christ, so, so, second part, Jesus the God, was he God the Father? Is that what it mean? No, Jesus is not God the Father. No, 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 no. I said Jesus the God, the word, the Logos, was he God the Father? Is that what it means? Was, was he? Was with God the Father? Was with us, yes. What? You hear that? Are you hear that? Jesus, according to John 1, according to him, the Logos, the word Jesus, was, is God, and that Logos, that God, was with God the Father. My brother, you haven't read your Bible. If you read your Bible, I'm going to, let me read it me, so that you can read it. To the banquet. I'm going to read it so that you know. No, no, go, go, so that to the bank is made. In the book of Deuteronomy, book of Deuteronomy here, you haven't studied your Bible. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 32, uh, verse number 39. Uh, pause well, it while he finds time to find no, it. Let me pause it. No, pause it. No, pause it. No, pause it. No, pause it. You see, look at Deuteronomy. Look at, you remember, Jesus, the word, the Logos, was with God. Yeah? And that Logos, that Jesus is God. God, Jesus, the God, was with God the Father. Listen to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 32. 
verse number 39, God is speaking there. He said, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. Amen. There is no God with me. Amen. You hear that? Yes. Amen. You believe that? Yes. What did you just say? Yes. Jesus, the word, John 1, 1, you said it, you're on camera. Yes. The word, the logos, which is Jesus, is God, and that logos was with God. But God said here, there's no God with him. Do you believe in that? Yes. Do you read Do you understand? Read it and see yourself. God said there's no... Yeah, read that. But God said there's no God with him. Read with that. And you're on camera. You said the Logos, which is Jesus, is God in the beginning. And that God was a God the Father. God himself said there's no God with him. Read with it. The bank you go, so, it. John 1 1 says, In the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. Okay, so clearly, there is a way in which the Father is God and the Son is God. <laughs> God, because Lyman assumes that God means one person. No, 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 no. I, Lyman, can you find me a verse go, in the go, Bible go. that says God is one person? Go, go, go. What? Find me a verse in the Bible that says God is one person. Find it. Now, God is one person? Yes. You believe that God is one person. God is not a person. Oh, no, 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 no. Look, look, these persons. Listen, the persons you. No, these persons you're talking about. Show me the persons. No, you ask me. You ask me. The persons you talk. Show me the persons in there. It's in your Bible. No, you ask. No, you ask me. No. Yeah, no, yeah, you yeah, ask me. Yes, yeah, okay. My so point you, is you this. ask me. Yeah, you reply in your time. Reply in your time. Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But let me make, but, finish making my point. But you're not dealing with the issue. Okay. You said I am. I'm you're not you're dealing with it right go, go. now. You, you ask me. You ask me. I'm talking. Go. You ask me. Go. Okay. Okay. So. <clears throat> Lamin assumes that God is one person. I am challenging Jim to find a verse in the Bible that says that God is one person. Trinitarians believe that that one God in the Shema, Deuteronomy 6, 4, Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is one. And the verse that he quoted in Deuteronomy also says that God is one. Christians affirm this. This is basic Christian teaching. But we also know that the person of Christ revealed that he himself is that same God. That God, therefore, is Father, Son, and also in Scripture is revealed to be the Holy Spirit. That one God is triune three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. This is revealed to us in the person of Christ, and we can see in the Old Testament how these people uh, portray themselves in the angel of the Lord, the spirit of the Lord, and Yahweh. So we know, for example, clearly that God has revealed himself to be triune. That is the proper understanding of, uh, of Scripture, holistically, as a whole, and that's how it relates to John 1. Now, here's an interesting thing. Keep in mind that I mentioned John chapter 20, verse 28, where Jesus is called God. He hasn't addressed this. Now he said, ah, but show me a verse where explicitly Jesus says that he is God. Find me a single verse where Jesus explicitly says he's not God. Find me one. He can't find you one. He's using uh, syntax, he's using logistical <laughs> arguments to try and play with words to make very bad arguments. This is clear. Find me a verse where Jesus says that he is the Messiah and the prophet. Show me where it says exact that in those exact words. You can't find it because that's being semantical. It's being pedantic. Jesus clearly said he was the Messiah. He clearly said he was a prophet, but he doesn't have to say it in those words. Just like he was clearly God, but he doesn't have to say, I am God in those words. Basic use of language. I rest my time. Thank you. you see, it's the problem with you. You know, I, I wish you could read your whole Bible and understand the context. You see, you go to church, you didn't do that. You just repeat what you've been told. John 1 1. Uh, you know, John 20 28. As I 9 6. All these, but I know all of them. It, it, it doesn't make sense. But when you go to the Old Testament, let's go to the Old Testament and see what God says about Himself. I mean, when you go to church, the pastors will never call these things to you. To you just as I quoted Deuteronomy 32 32 39. You, you, you cut yourself out. You make your own camera. You say that Jesus at the beginning was God, and Jesus, that God, that Logos, was with God, with, was with God the Father at the bank. You eh, told me that you told me God said there was no God with him. So that means that when God said there is no God with him in the beginning, then Jesus in the beginning was the God. Finished. But let's go to the Old Testament. You read your Bible in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 30, chapter number 43, verses number 10 to 11. God said, before me, no God was formed, no shall there be any after me. I, I am the Lord, and besides me, there is no Savior. But they are telling us Jesus is Savior. Paul is telling them that. Paul is saying that. That if you confess in your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe, that, believe in your heart that God raised him, you'll be saved. They are following Paul. God is explicit in the Old Testament. He's the only Savior. Furthermore, in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 45, verse number 21 to 22, God said, and there is no other God besides me, a righteous God and a savior. There is none besides me. 21 says, no, 22 says, turn to me and be saved. 
all the ends of the earth. For I am God, and there is no other. Why can't you call that? When you go to church, the pastors will never tell God this verse to you. God said, he's telling you, he's the only one Lord. And he said in the Bible, there is nothing unto like him, which agrees with what the Quran said. He's in a class, chapter 112, verse number 4. Let me a one art. There is none unto like him. You go to your Bible, in the book of Exodus, chapter number 9, verse number 14. God says that you may know that there is none like me in all the earth. But you're told that Jesus is fully God, fully man. How could you expect that? And in your Bible, in Hosea 11, 9, God said, for I am God and not man. You've been deluded. Read your Bible. God said he's not a man. But he said Jesus is on earth, fully God, fully man. Jesus, fully God, fully man, he's praying to God. I mean, when he was, when he was fishing on the cross, according to the Bible, in the book of uh, uh, in, in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 27, verse number 46. Hebrew, this Hebrew uh, uh, translation, every Bible, he said, Eli, Eli, Lama, Sabbatani. Oh, Eloi, Eloi, Lama, Sabbatani. Oh, my God, oh, my God. Why has thou forsaken me? Who was he crying to? This is God incarnate, one, one, one. Who is that God he was crying to? Tell me. 30 seconds. I'm done, God. All right, cool. Is God. All right, so again, he's just repeating the same sort of thing, but repackaged. He's basically saying that, look, all the times that in the Old Testament, it says God is one. Yes, we believe there is one God. But what I'm telling you, and I've made it clear, is that Jesus Christ identifies himself as that God, and he affirms that the Father is that God, and that the Holy Spirit is that God. That to us affirms that God, by nature, is triune. We have no problem with this. It's not here. He then said, but in the Old Testament... Quote it from here. Lamin. And it says in the Old Testament, God is not a man. Well, when the Old Testament was revealed, God wasn't, hadn't uh, enjoyed unto himself humanity. So that's completely correct. It was only in the New Testament that God uh, came into the form of man through the person of Jesus Christ. So, yes, that's correct. See, again, he's, he's trying to find particular verses that, to take out a context that, in reality, don't support his position. They support mine. The Trinitarian position can affirm all of the Old Testament and all of the New Testament, where he has to cherry-pick certain verses. He mentioned, that, he mentioned about what Paul said, referring to uh, a distinction between the Christ and God. But Paul also says, uh, says this. I'm talking about 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 6. He says, Yet for us there is but one God, the Father from all, whom all things came and for whom we live. But there is but one Lord, Jesus Christ, through whom all things came and through whom we live. Distinction. He just said that all he things it. came through Jesus. How is that possible? He's clearly saying that when he talks about Jesus being Lord, he is equating that with the Father God. He is making equations between God and the Christ because he believes they are the same. Do you want to know more? We can read more. Let's read. Um, <laughs> let's read First Phil uh, Philippians. Let's go to Book of Philippians, chapter two, verse six. Let's read this. There we go. Paul, that same author, says this: In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ, uh, as Christ, who, being in the very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used for his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant being made in human likeness. Who said that, Paul? Very not clear. Jesus. You see, he, ah, he, see, see what he did now? No. He said, Paul said that, no, not no, Jesus. He said, Paul said that, but he quoted Paul earlier. It was okay for him to quote Paul when Paul said something he could interpret in a Unitarian fashion, but when I quote Paul clearly demonstrating that God is triune, now he has a problem with it. This is the inconsistency of the Unitarian position, the inconsistency of the Islamic position. Islam is not consistent with Christianity. Islam contradicts uh, Christianity because it claims to affirm the Injil, but the Injil contradicts it completely. And again, remember, this whole thing started with me saying that John chapter 20, verse 28, Thomas calls Jesus his Lord and his God. He says to him, the Lord of me and the God of me, and Jesus says, now you believe. Will he ever address the fact that Jesus was called God? Will he ever address that point? No, of course, because he doesn't have a way of addressing it. He is left vacant, completely without it. Do you want more Trinitarian scripture? Let's go give you some more Trinitarian scripture. Ten seconds. All right, in my next wrap-up statement, I'll give some more so verses for fun. As you, as, as you can see, Lamy. the man is prevaricating. You see, the, thing, the problem with, 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 with what we are telling you, even you've got non-Muslim scholars, non-Muslim scholars, I tell you, if, the more you dip into the Bible, you go into the Christianity, you can see it's a made-up religion. Jesus wasn't a Christian. He, he wasn't a Christian. Jesus was a Trinitarian. He never preached Trinity. I believe you are a Christian, you believe in all these things, but they're not sensical. They've got nothing to do with Jesus and all the prophets. No. And you know Jesus said in, in the Gospel of John, chapter 5, Verse number 46, 
if you believe Moses, you believe me, for he wrote about me. I'm asking my Christians, what did what did G, what did Moses write about Jesus? All this John 1:1, 1, 1, or what Paul said, you cannot find it. Find them in the rascal of Paul, in the rascal of, 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 of uh, Moses and Islam, Musa. So that's what I'm saying that he quoted uh, uh, what John 20, uh, John 28, when Thomas said to Jesus, "My Lord and my God." Yes. What does that mean, God? My Lord, is that God, God Almighty, God the Creator. Yes. You know, Satan is called God in the Bible. Do you know that the devil? The devil is called God. Theos. No, because Theos, Theos. What I'm telling you, if you look at it, Theos and Theon, do you know the difference between the two? The Theos and Theon. Theos and Theon. The Theos and Theon, they mix these two. Yeah? Theos means Almighty, means there is a general word for all God. Theon is reserved for Almighty God, the creator of heavens and the earth. The Theos here means what? A righteous person called a God. A king, he can, he can call him a God. With a small g. When he said, My God and my Lord, it doesn't mean the creator of heavens and the earth. Because Jesus said in your Bible now, the Father uh, is the Lord of the heavens and the earth, who is the creator according to Jesus. Gospel of Matthew, see these guys, they have all studied the Bible. Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 11, verse number 25. He said, and that time Jesus said, uh, O Father, Lord of the heavens and the earth, for you, you have revealed these things, you have hidden these things from the land and revealed them to, to the little children. Yes, Father, for this was a good pleasure. So according to Jesus, the creator of heavens and the earth, the Lord of the heavens and the Father, is Almighty God, not him. You are deluded. I believe you, but the church fathers are teaching all this nonsense. You cannot find them in the Old Testament. All the prophets in the Old Testament, the children of Israel, they, are, they believe in only one God. Yeah, but you're bringing your, 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 your how do you call it, verses from the New Testament, go to Old Testament, oh, say that the Deuteronomy 6.4. Tell me a children of Israel who build the Deuteronomy 6 4 means Father, uh, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Oh, here, yeah, oh Israel, the Lord, Lord our God is one Lord. It doesn't mean that. And, and Jesus, you know what Jesus said himself? Jesus affirmed to that. In the Gospel of Matthew, in the Gospel of Mark, Mark 12 20, now what did he say? No, no, what did he say? Jesus, what did he say? Jesus said, he said, Here, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. This is simple. Why can't you follow that? The first commandment. Because the man said, which is the first? I'll give it. The man, said, the man is asking Jesus, the scribe said, which is the first of all the commandments? And Jesus said, the first of all the commandments. Here all is right. The Lord our God is one. Go on. Yeah, I can give you more. Go on. Okay. You can't address that. Right, so One Lord. First of all, very simple. They try to give a very vague uh, defense of John 20, 28, <laughs> not being uh, Judas being called God. I could just bring up a lexicon and I can show you right now. Thomas answered and said to him, my Lord and my God. The word used is Theos. Theos is translated as God. Simple. Nice and simple, quick. You guys can at home get out of a lexicon and look at John chapter 20, verse 28. He's trying to say it doesn't mean God, it means Almighty or something else. No, Theos means God. Very clear in the Greek. There we are. Point of view. So again, he keeps going back to the idea that in the Old Testament, God is... No, no, no. It keeps going back to the idea that in the Old Testament it says the Lord, uh, our God, is one. We completely agree. There is only one God. But the question is, is what is the nature of that God? It is clear through what Jesus has taught in John chapter 20, verse 28, in John chapter 1, verse 1, in John chapter 12, verse 37 to 41, in John chapter 14, verse 13 to 14, that Jesus is clearly taking on divine titles. The book of Revelation, Revelation chapter 1, verse 8, Revelation chapter 22, verse 13. I can keep going with more and more of these, and that's just Jesus' words. If I then include the actual words of Paul in other, in other uh, writings, it's even more clear. And thank you for affirming that the Church Fathers were Trinitarians. Thank you for that. Yeah, but Jesus is not Trinitarian. For, thank you for accepting yeah. that our Church Fathers taught the correct doctrine that is revealed doctrine. in Scripture, that Jesus Christ is God. He is God and Lord, just as, Jesus, uh, just as Thomas said he was. Thank you very much, Lamin. No, I think you uh, I think so you are done. So I, I promise I I promise that I bring more I, verses I can up. see the one, you know, look, let's actually, see, actually, wait, when no, no, Jesus no, no, left, no, my no. time's, my, my okay, time's go, not go done, on. my go time is not done, he, say, he keeps quoting John chapter I'm 5, I'm here for one hour, he, he, he quotes John chapter 5 verse 30, and I think he quoted John chapter 5 verse 35, 40,000 that, but has he read the whole chapter, no, why, let's read John chapter 5, the same chapter, verse 22 onwards, it says here, Moreover, the Father judges no one, but has entrusted all judgment to the Son. I thought only God judges. That all may honour the Son, just as they honour the Father. Whoever does not honour the Son, does not honour the Father who sent him. 
You are called to honor the Son the same way that you honor the Father. That's clearly a claim to divinity. He hasn't read John 5. He's only read little parts of John 5. This is clearly someone who has either not been sincere or hasn't properly read the text. I think that's, uh, I think that's game set. So, 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 so that's I'll, that. I'll succeed my time to you. What well, would well, well, I want to do that? When Jesus left this world, listen to this. When Jesus left this world, listen to this. Do you want to make a no, no, no. When Jesus left this world, remember Jesus already left this world. Now the disciple Peter and the disciples went to the crowd. You know what he said? Book of Acts, chapter number two, verse number twenty-two. Let's see if Jesus was God. Yeah. Yes. No, it's, it's no, no, yeah. no, no. If Jesus was God, Lena Peter would have said that to the, would have plainly said that to the disciples. To, to the children of Israel. Let's see. Book of Acts, chapter number 2, uh, verse number 22. Peter went with the disciples to the crowd. You know what he said? He said, O men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God with mighty works and wonders and signs, which God did through him, and you are witness to it. Can you answer this? Can you? Why didn't Jesus say to them? Why didn't Peter, if Jesus was God, are you told of Peter? Are you told of Peter? Peter is a liar. Oh, John! John knows Jesus better than Peter. Who is John? We all know Peter was the right hand man of Jesus. He was rock. He's rock. You know it. The disciples. He, he was their leader. Why didn't he tell them now? Oh, men of Israel, hear this word: Jesus of Nazareth, a God or Trinity. But he emphatically said to them, Oh, men of Israel, hear these words: Jesus of Nazareth, a man. Attested to you by God, distinction with mighty works and wonders and stuff. Bring God did through him and we're witness to it. So all the miracles he performed, God was doing it. Why is it when you go to church, the pastors won't tell you that? You don't know that. You quote others, but you haven't memorized that. Why? Because they don't want you to know. Why? Tell me. If Jesus was God, don't go anywhere. If Jesus was God, why didn't Peter say that to the, to the, to the, to the children of Israel? You see, Jesus. Maybe, uh, look, you are a Christian. You believe in Trinity. It's a fabrication. It's a concoction. It has got nothing to do with Jesus. And your Bible says that. You know your Bible says that? Look at the Bible. You verse the Bible. Your Bible says that. This thing is a, this thing is a fabrication. And... Your Quran affirms no, 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 no. Listen to me. This Bible here, your Bible, you see, that you do scholars say this one is corrupted. First translation, corrupted. No, I'm not changing. And why I say that, the concept of Trinity, the only place you'll find the Bible is in the first epistle of John 5 7. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. This Bible said it's a lie. No Quran, it's a lie. These three are these three are not one. Your Bible said, I can read it, gone. It's your Bible, it's a lie, it's a thing, gone. So your core belief, your own scholars, that you scholars say it's a lie. Trinity, you believe in. I can read it to you now. Go on. Can I answer? Go on, answer. Your Bible can answer it. Okay. Go on. You have to see the time. Okay. Okay, yeah. I'm going to make a final uh, summary statement because I, I want to summary statement. Go on. So there are a few things he said. First of all, he said that yeah. uh, 1 John 5 7 is a fabrication. Uh, we agree that it's a later verse because it isn't found in our very hey, rich mainstream tradition. Thank you, thank you. That's why no Christian uses it now. Thank you, thank you. Very simple. They use, they use it has it. no relevance to this debate, though, because they, I don't bring it up. No, Hence, but, but they, it does not help your case you, whatsoever. You're heresy. Next point. Next point. Next point. Again, he keeps pointing out that Jesus is a man. Yes, Jesus was a man. Thank you very much. It doesn't change whether or not he is God or whether he is not God. It has nothing to do with the actual claim that Trinitarians make. Trinitarians don't say that Jesus was just a man. Trinitarians say that Christ was fully a man and fully God. Yeah, that's your belief. That's that point. It's a made of religion. Okay, next, next point. Next point. Next point. He had noticed he hadn't addressed John chapter 20, verse 28. I pointed him to the Greek in the lexicon where Jesus is being called God. He didn't address it because he can't address it. Simple as. I mentioned more Trinitarian verses, uh, Philippians chapter 2, verse 6, where Jesus is called God. He won't address that. He simply is back to the top corner. John 5, uh, verse 22, 23, where. The Son is said to be uh, given the same glory that the Father has, which is clearly a divine statement. He won't address that because he doesn't have any argument against that. Clearly he's cherry-picking his verses because he doesn't have anything more to say. 
This is the bankruptcy <laughs> of the Dawa claim. <laughs> don't talk, talk, talk. This what is I'm the saying. The bankruptcy of the Dawa claim. Go home and study your Bible. And what, what was the and last thing he said? Oh, specifically. He, uh, oh, why did Jesus not say he was God? Why did he not just openly say it? I said Peter, Peter. And I said Peter. No, Peter. Why, by that same logic, why did Jesus not immediately reveal that he was the Messiah everywhere he went according to the gospel? This is something that we know as the hiddenness of the gospel. That's an academic term. Jesus was clearly revealing information at certain times and places when it was appropriate. At the end of the Gospels is where you find the highest Christology. Why? Because this is after Jesus is resurrected and Jesus explains to his disciples, which is in John chapter 20, verse 28, that he is God. You can also find this in Matthew. You can find in Matthew chapter 28, verse 19, Jesus says that all power and glory has been given to him. Given to me, given to him. Given in his humanity. Given to him. He is a human as the person of Jesus Christ. But you say fully God, fully man on the earth. Yes. But you're you're contradicting yourself. Humanity, fully God, humanity but, was fully, but was he fully God? After the resurrection, Jesus was he fully God on the earth? That's why Jesus said in 28 verse 19, he's, he had now been given that authority and kingdoms. His humanity had been glorified. No, no, no. As a Trinitarian, we yeah. can give answers to all no, of these we, questions. No, no, no. But as a Unitarian or a Muslim, you can't give. All you can do is try desperately to find verses that imply that Jesus wasn't God. <laughs> but then when you investigate them, that's, you that's, that's what you're doing. Look, I'll go, I'll go to you what Peter said. Said, look, I can tell you what Peter said to the crowd. If Jesus was God, Jesus taught the disciples about three and a half years. I think oh, three, uh, in his ministry. Yeah, he three. told them he never said he's God. He never said, was it me? If he had said that, he Peter, no, Peter would have said that. Places. Look, Peter would have said that to, a, to, uh, uh, to the children of Israel. He said that. Uh, these verse are quoted to you, Acts 2.22. This happened when Jesus left this world. Why did he say that? Forget about the gospel. Forget about it. Peter. Let's go to Peter. And when and another uh, book of us again, 542. They said that this also verse I'm going to quote to you. When Jesus left this world, uh, the disciples, this is what they do. In the book of Acts, chapter number 5, verse number 42. It said, day after day, uh, from temple to temple and from house to house, they never stop preaching and proclaiming the good news that Jesus the Messiah, not God incarnate. Yeah, they were going to house to house, temple. What were they preaching? Messiah. No God incarnate. I think you are deluded. The church fathers, yeah, they came up with this concoction. Yeah, yeah I believe you. Yeah. Church fathers, you are following. You are not following the teaching of Jesus or the prophet in the Bible. You are not. I believe what you said is your belief, but it has not, got nothing to do with Jesus. Jesus was not a Trinitarian, he was a Christian. Do you know the first time? The first, first time that the disciples of Jesus were called Christian. Do you know that? Let me ask. Do you know that? I want you, I, I want you to, yeah, because Jesus. Wasn't, wasn't a Trinitarian, he wasn't, neither was he a Christian. I'm asking you, do you know the first time that the disciples of Jesus were called Christian? Do you know that? Google it out. I want you to tell me. Do you know that? Maybe you don't know. You are a Christian. You, do you know? It's your speech. You, you don't know. Okay, he doesn't know that. I'll tell him when you read your Bible. Um, it is mentioned in uh, it's, uh, Book of Acts. Thank you. Book of Acts. Chapter number 11, verse number 26 says that, and the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. Remember, the Christ, the, the, the disciples of Jesus Christ, according to the book of Acts, chapter number 11, verse number 26, the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. I'm asking you, prior to that, what were they called? Uh, what, 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 it, it's really no, what I'm trying to tell you that yeah the, the, the religion of Christian, uh, 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 the Christianity has got nothing to do with Jesus Christ That's he has got, to do on topic. no 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 I'm giving an example so that you know that it's not it's not yeah, because when you're quoting when you, your idea and all these things about Jesus being God is from the church fathers he has nothing to do with Jesus nothing I'm a, I'm so much, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I mean, I'm not. So what I'm, what, I'm, what I'm saying, let's go back, let's go back to the Bible. What I'm, that's what I said to you, in the Old Testament, all the prophets uh, profess to this oneness of God. I'm telling you, don't bring your Trinitarian idea to the Old Testament, no. I'll quote the verse to you extensively. God himself said, you know, in your Bible, in the book of Isaiah, I'm quoting you. They don't, they don't like going to the Old Testament. No, we love it. No, no, you don't. In the book of Isaiah, in the, no, if I ask you to quote to me six verses where God speaks about his attributes, I know you're going to feel miserable. Six verses. My friend. No, 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 listen, 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 listen to me. That, now I'm telling you, that's why you, you hate to go to the Old Testament. Why is that relevant? Because 
God in the Old Testament. Listen, listen to me. Because God in the Old Testament yeah, revealed his identity to the children of Israel and all the prophets. There is only one God. Yes, we affirm that. 100%. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Deuteronomy 6 4. Yeah, you do 6 4. So why, why, why did you get three? Okay. You know, you got to Deuteronomy 6 4 in the Old Testament. So show me the concept of three in the Old Testament. Show me the concept of three in the Old Testament. It's not there. Fully God, show me the concept of Trinity or the doctrine of Trinity. Show me the doctrine that God is only one person. No, no, he's the Old Testament. But, show me. Yeah, but you got in the Old Testament. You got in the Old Testament. You got in the Old Testament. You quoted Deuteronomy 6 4. Six four. Yeah. Here is the Lord of the Lord. I'm telling you, the, the children of Israel. Yes. Uh, did, did they understand that to God? Is okay, did they understand that to be God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit? We believe that. No, you believe. No, you believe. Go to the scripture. Yes, but the scripture is your just belief the is, your, belief, is it? your belief is the church fathers. Belief. I, have I That's quoted fine. the church fathers in this debate? Have I at any point quoted them? No. Why? So no, no, no. You said no. I no. only need to refer to scripture alone. No, no. Yeah, okay. Jesus is fully God, fully man. It's in the Bible. No. Pass it. Jesus is called God in the Bible. No, no, no. John fully God, fully man. It's not there. No, no. Jesus is called God. John chapter 20, verse 28. Jesus is called God. Address that point. Address it. We cannot address I, it because address, he knows. No, look, look. I'll address the point to you here. I said Satan is Satan is called God. Do you worship Satan? Right, so Theos and Theos. No, no, no. Look, 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 look. look. look at the, the I've called the verse to you. To no, who, is, who is the creator of heavens and the earth? Who? Yahweh. Not Jesus. Father, Thank you. Son, and Holy Spirit. No, 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 show me, show me. No, no, show me, show me. Show me. No, show me. No, 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 no. no. God listen, 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 listen to me. Listen to me. Who is the creator of the heavens and the earth? Let's go. No, no, no. Who is Creator. Who is Yahweh? Show me one verse in the Old Testament or New Testament that says that Yahweh is one person. Show me one verse. Show me one verse. You are quoting the person. It's not in the Bible. Which Church fathers Bible? came out that. What? Well, the the Yahweh is one person. Listen, the, 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 father, no, the, father, the Father is a person. No, 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 no. The, uh, no, no, no. Is the Father dark, is a person. The Son is a person. And the Holy Ghost is a person. Right. You find that in the Creed. In the Atlas. Yes, Nazarene Creed. Nazarene Creed. Yes. But it's not here. Right, but no, this, do, you know the, do you know the, the creed? Do you know the creed? Yes. Do you know the creed? Yes, we recite it in church. No, no, the creed? Yes, the Nicene Creed from 325. No, 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 no. From Constantinople. <laughs> <My friends. laughs> I think you. Should we, should we leave it at that? Because no. I think we're going to go well forever. All, all, I'm, all I'm telling you. No, 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 don't go. I want to tell you in the Old Testament. Show me where. No, 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 wait, wait, wait okay, wait, wait, wait. If you, no, wait, wait. Uh, we are telling you if Jesus, if Jesus is God, yeah, yeah, that means that he's the creator of heaven and the earth. The other day, my African brother said that Jesus created everything. He created the Christians, created the Muslims, created everything. I asked him, where is the evidence? He can't find it. But you know the Old Testament, which you had to go to. No, I'm not going no, to. no, no, no. I've literally the pastors won't go there. Okay, listen to me. In the book of Isaiah, chapter, no, chapter no, wait. 1, verse 26. No, no, in the book of Isaiah. I'll come to that. I'll come to that. I know oh, yeah, that. Yeah, I'll that. come to that. How about all the places no, no, where. No, 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 no. How about uh, Genesis 19? I'll come to that. I know all that. I'll go. I'll, I'll come you to, go to that. If you read the Bible. What about uh, Exodus chapter 3? I'll come to that. If you read the Bible. I'll come to that. If you read the Bible. If you read the Bible. In the book of Isaiah, chapter number 44. Verse number 24. God is talking here. Guys, listen to me. Now, God, listen, we know who's the creator. I've let you make your final no, no, statement. No, no, one more. You've made your God, final statement. No, no, God, God is talking here. Listen Guys, to We should have a time no, of no, final no, statements. No, no, no. Okay, one, one more. I'll give I it to you. Like, you need to know now. this. No, you I'm need to know. I'm perfectly happy. Because you don't know who's the creator. You don't know. I've already explained. No, you don't know. No, you don't know. Let me quote you. Let me quote. 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 In the Bible, Isaiah 44 24, God said, I am the Lord who made all things, yeah, who totally alone yeah, no set out of heaven, no, who God. spread the earth by myself. Yeah, completely agree. What is Jesus? What is agree. Trinity? According to the Bible, why Jesus said the Father is the Lord of heavens and the earth. My no brother, you are, you are deluded. You are deluded. I'm telling you, because you are following the church fathers. We my hands. Nice debate. Thank you very much. Read the Bible and know who's the real God. You read the Bible. Jesus, Jesus had a God and worship a God. If you read the Bible again, you read the Bible. The Bible. Look at what Jesus did. The Bible. In the Bible. You guys. In the Bible. In the in the Bible. In the Gospel. You see, this is the problem. He came to approach me today. You know, Bob was there, and what's the matter? Bob was there. Um, lying, so I went to Bob to try and uh, persuade him to debate with me to disrupt his pattern because he was talking nonsense. 
The man came to me, wanted to be with me to show me that Jesus is God. But he felt miserable. I told him, you believe in Trinity from the church fathers. Jesus is God from the church fathers. Not a single verse. He's going to obscure verses. But they are clear, emphatic verses from the Bible. While Jesus is making distinction between him and Almighty God. The Bible is telling you that Jesus was somebody near to Almighty God. How can he be God? They believe that Jesus is fully God, fully man. It's not in the Bible. He called the persons, the persons, the persons. Which persons? You see, they got their idea from the At Athanasian Creed. The Athanasian Creed is where you get all these things from. But they end in the Bible. Now, I'm going to tell you, I quoted this here before, the, this Athanasian Creed. So I'm going to quote it again so that the viewers can know that this concept of Trinity uh, is in the Athanasian Creed. These terms they're using, substance, yeah, co equal, co eternal, Jesus being Almighty God. This in the Athanasian Creed, not in the Bible. It's not there. Jesus never said he's God, he never said what's it be. Now, these are the words of the Athanasian Creed, as quoted from McClintock and Strong's Biblical Cyclopedia, formulated in the fourth century AD. Now, the Creed was a result of the controversy, which raged from the second to the fourth century and beyond. This is what he said. Listen to this creed. He said, we worship one God in Trinity and Trinity in unity, neither confounding the persons nor dividing the substance. For there is one passing of the Father, another of the Son, and another of the Holy Ghost. But the Godhead of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost is one. The glory equal, the majesty co eternal, such as the Father is, such is the Son, and such is the Holy Ghost. The Father is eternal, the Son is eternal, and the Holy Ghost is eternal. So like what? The Father is almighty, the Son is almighty, and the Holy Ghost almighty. So the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy, is God. The Holy Ghost is God. But there are no three gods, one God. I'm asking, what language is this? This is confusing. And he went on and said that the Father is made of known, neither created, nor made, nor begotten. The Son is of the Father alone, not made, nor created, but begotten. The Holy Ghost is of the Father and the Son, not made, not created, not begotten, but proceeding. And in this trinity, none is afore or after other. None is greater or less than other. But the whole three persons are co eternal together and all equal. So that, as I have said, the unity in trinity and the trinity in unity is to be worshipped. He therefore, that will be saved, must thus think of the trinity. So the concept is from the Athanasian Creed, not from the Bible, as you can see. When, when the man is going here, quoting verses, which are, have nothing to do with Jesus being God. So our brothers and sisters, we are inviting you to the religion of all the prophets, which is Islam. Islam simply means submitting one will, will to the will of Almighty God, the Creator Allah. We, the Muslims, worship the Creator, not the creation. And this is what all the prophets in the Bible, this is the central message, that Almighty God is one Lord, and Him alone deserves to be worshipped. Just as, as, as I have just demonstrated. If you go to the Bible again, Jesus said, Worship the Lord your God and serve only Him. And in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 4, verse number 10, Worship the Lord your God and serve only Him. So if He said Jesus be worshipped, it's a contradiction. And this same message is repeated in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 4, verse number 8, Worship the Lord your God and serve only Him. And in the Gospel of John, still John, John that he loved, he was quoted extensively. Gospel of John, chapter number 4, verse number 23. Jesus said that uh, the time will come, and now is when the true worshippers, when the true worshippers will worship the Father. For the Father seeks such to worship him. So according to Jesus, in the Gospel of John, chapter number 4, verse number 23, the true worshippers will worship the Father. The false worshippers well, it was the creation, and brothers and sisters, as you can see, it felt miserable. And John 17, 3, Jesus said, this John 17, 3, a missile, a scat missile, against these people here, who are spreading falsehood, falsehood, against the pastors. John 17, 3, they hate to hear that. Here, Jesus said, and this is eternal life, that they might know that you are the only true God, the only true God, 
Jesus Christ, who you are sent. So if Jesus said that Almighty God, the creator of the heavens and the earth, is the only true God, and you are saying Jesus is God, it means that Jesus is called God. I'm going to the Quran again, if you read God's the Quran. As I said, all the prophets were Muslim. They all came with one message, which is Tawheed, oneness of God. I invite you, we are inviting you to the religion of all the prophets. Prophet Muhammad, peace on him, is the last and final messenger sent to the whole of mankind. We believe in all the prophets. Every single prophet that came before the last and final messenger, Muhammad, peace on him, was sent to that people at a particular time period. But Muhammad, peace on him, is sent for the whole of mankind. If you read the Quran, it's mentioned in Surah uh, An Anbiya, chapter number 21. Verse number 107 says that We have not sent you, O Muhammad, except as a mercy to mankind. Furthermore, in the Bible's Quran, in Surah Saba, chapter number 34, verse number 28 says that Oma Asanaka, Illa Kafatan Lin Nasi, Basira Wanesira, Kulakina, Pasira, Laila. We have not sent you, O Muhammad, except as a mercy to mankind. But most of the human beings, you do not know. Most of the human beings, you do not know. That is why we're here doing dawah, calling the people to the religion of all the prophets. My brothers and sisters, don't take my word for it. Don't take anyone's word for it. Get a copy of the Quran and read the Quran. Your salvation is in the Quran, in Islam. It's in worshiping Allah, the Creator, and not associating any partners with Him. As I said, one word for that in Arabic Islam. I'm going to uh, end this video with uh, two or three quotations from the Quran. Uh, from Surah uh, Al An'am, chapter number seven, that's the seventh uh, Surah or chapter of the Quran, verse number 14. Here, Allah says, that, Say, tell them, shall we take for ourselves anybody other than Allah as our protector, as our wali? Fatir is Samawati wal Ard, when He, Allah, is the originator of the heavens and the earth. Well, I think what I do, I'm, when it is he who feeds, but it's not fed. Our Lord, our Creator, our Rab, Allah Almighty God, is the Creator, the originator of the heavens and the earth. Well, we're eating what I do, um, it is he who feeds, but it's not fed. That is his attribute. Allah is self-sufficient. He keeps, he feeds his creation, but it's not fed. He doesn't eat. He doesn't require food. He he's self-sufficient. He's not in need of anything. And more directly to Jesus, more directly to Jesus in Surah. And more directly to Jesus in Surah, chapter number five, Surah five, verse number. 75. Here, Surah Al Maida, in Surah Al Maida, chapter number 5, Surah Al Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 75. Allah said, Oh, do not say, Malama see, Ibn Maria, Illa Rasul, Christ, Jesus, the son of Maryam, the son of Mary, was no more than a messenger. Kadi Kalad mean Kabi Rusul. Many were the messengers that passed away from, away from him, that passed away before him. Mortal. They are all mortal souls, all the prophets. What Umu Siddiqa and his mother, Mary, was a pious woman. That's correct. Mary was a pious woman. Kana Yakulani Ta'am, and they both ate food. Here, Allah said, Jesus, peace upon him, and his mother, they ate food. They were dependent. Without food, they would have died. Almighty God, Allah, is independent of all needs. As I said, he feeds his creation, but nobody feeds him. Unzur And I said, see, see how Allah makes his signs clear to them. Sumanzur anayifakun. And see how they are deluded away from the truth. My brothers and sisters, Jesus is not God. He said he's fully God, fully man. He ate food. He was dependent on Almighty God. In your Bible, John 657, Jesus said, Gospel of John, chapter 5. No, Gospel of John, chapter number 6, verse number 57. John 657. Jesus said, and I live because of the Father. And I live because of the Father. So that the world, so world may know that I love the Father. 
So Jesus was dependent on Almighty God, my brothers and sisters. So this is a finish the bed with a man. This is my conclusion. So as I said, we're inviting you to the religion of all the prophets. I'm going to end this video with Surah Al-Maidah, Surah Al-Imran, chapter number three, verse number 64. Here Allah said, Kul yahala kitab. Say, all oh, people who have a book, Ta'ala ila kalimati sawaan bi'ana bi'anakum. That come to common terms as between us and you. Allah na'buta illa Allah. That we worship none but Allah. Wala nusuka bi'i shay'aw. That we associate no partners with him. Wala yaktak, wala yakati subhajuna ba'dan al-baba bidun la, bidun la, bidun la, bidun la, that we reck not from among ourselves laws or patrons other than Allah. Fa'id da'u Allah. But if they turn away, fa'kulu sadu, then bear witness, be'ana muslimun, that we are Muslims, bowing to Allah's will. Wa akara da'wana, walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin.